As a coffee drinker, I rather choose a healthy alternative that gives long-lasting energy and helps burn fat. Instead of worrying about extra shots of espresso, the coffees I drink intensifies your metabolism and energizes the body. Keto coffee contains MCT oil, grass-fed butter, and collagen. And Skinny Brew Coffee is a vegan-based coffee that improves focus and concentration with six brain-boosting nootropics. Try the good stuff. Try the healthy stuff. What's happening, blues people? Remember, we are still in the midst of a crowdfunding campaign for the African American Folklorist newspaper. Go to the Indiegogo campaign. You can also find it on the African American Folklorist website or look down in the description box where you will get a link to the campaign. Your donations allow us to service our readers with articles about traditions, traditional beliefs, the cultural context, geographical locations, musics, and vernaculars of African Americans and the role each element plays in the lives of the people past and present. And don't forget, April 23rd is our benefit concert entitled Black Folk Narrative with performances by Piedmont Blues acoustic duo Marquise Knox and Corey Harris. <laughs> What's happening? What's happening? What's happening, blues people? Oh boy, first, uh, you know, I drink coffee all day. I have to show y'all. <laughs> <laughs> and if you're interested in the healthy coffee that I drink, we sell them keto coffee and skinny brew. Skinny cool, brew cool. is vegan, keto is not because it has grass fed butter. I will have the description of those in the description box. Now, get into the blues. Oh my goodness. I, I, I remember, and I'm gonna try not to make this a long introduction because I believe y'all know who I'm talking to, but <laughs> I, 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 one of my early interviews with, with the legend, uh, Bill Howlin' Mad Perry. Yes, and he sir. told me about this young man and I finally get a chance to sit down and talk to him. Kingfish, what happening with you, bro? What's going on, man? How you doing? I, I, I'm all right. I'm all right. I, I'm I'm really excited, you know, because I was able to interview, you know, there's, there's always in every few generations, there's the three kings of the blues, <laughs> right? And right now, I've completely been able to interview all of the three kings of the blues currently. Oh, man. Okay, so you, you, you complete the circle, bro. What okay, all right, let me calm down. Let me calm down because <laughs> this is, you know, what I'm saying. Because I have to tell you before we get into it, and, and I did post this on Facebook. Mm -hmm. You know, we're big Marvel folk here in my household, so so me, my wife, and my kids, we 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 make time to watch all Marvel movies or Marvel uh series. Mm -hmm. And that Luke Cage performance, bro, that was grown man business. Oh, thank you, man. I, I, I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. It definitely came from the heart. <laughs> so, so, so now let's, let's, let's get into it. Um, let, let's start with how a young brother such as yourself were even introduced and interested in playing of uh, traditional music and, and an instrument that most people don't even correlate to black youth. Right. Well, uh, let's see. Um, I got into like music all together. I want to say like around age three uh, from coming up, like hanging around my mom's side of the family. My mom, she sung quartet all her life uh, with my uncles and aunts and, and cousins. So on that side of the family, everybody like, either sing or can play an instrument. So like uh going over there like every Sunday uh uh and uh and playing in that church is like you know um having a jam session is really cool. So I was hanging around them and watching them around age three. So those were like my um early uh, early influences. How I got into the blues was you know when I you know with me coming from Clarksdale, Mississippi and all the rich uh blues history that you know uh comes from here my dad showed me a 
showed me a Muddy Waters documentary uh, that was on PBS. Not only that, uh, he showed me the BB King cameo in the Sanford and the Sun episodes. So I seen all that like around age eight. And I happened to live right next to a blues band full of some of the local legends uh, in the uh, in the city. Uh, one I actually learned from in the Delta Blues Museum by the name of uh, uh, Anthony Big A. Sherrod, uh, uh, Josh Razorblade, Stuart, rest in peace, uh, Mike, uh, 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 Dr. Mike James, uh, Terry Big T. Williams, all the local legends. I was at age eight, I would be in the, you know, little juke drum parties while they be drinking and stuff, while they be playing. So fast forward from that, going to the Blues Museum and learning on the Mr. Perry and Learning all the uh, learning all the roots and history and the uh, and the uh, um, and the fundamentals of the guitar and the blues and pretty much how I got here for sure. Wow, I did, that's that's a wealth of generational wisdom and tradition. I, I have to step to the side for a second because I just <laughs> noticed your T-shirt, <laughs> and, and, and though I'm a bluesman, I comes out the hip hop. Oh, I know. Community. I um, I noticed that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, so so when when I was a young man, dig digital plan. Yo, those dudes was there was a video show on public television, mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. the station only had a, a show. Um, it started out once a week for about two hours. Then it became a full uh, television station, but they played. Um, Humpty and all these things when I was being, yo, yo I can't, there, there's such a connection. And how, with that being said, because you know, I always say hip hop is the great, great, great grandchild of the blues, mm-hmm. right? And I, I give three greats because I kind of calculated that based on when my um, oldest grandparent was born, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. To when I was born, right? How did it turned out for you to do an NPR performance with the legendary God MC himself, Rakim. Man, oh man, I'm gonna tell you something, man. That was actually uh that was actually through the whole through the whole Luke Cage deal. What happened mm. was we um before the season two dropped, we all had to go to uh DC and do something at the Kennedy Center, like it was like a showing of like one of the episodes or something and they wanted to have like a musical showing uh 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 i think for it as well and the uh and the and the two musical producers of the show that we worked with were uh adrian young who worked with go uh, uh ghostface killer and uh ali shaheed muhammad from a tribe called quest Ooh. so yeah yeah so you know so uh when i when i when i did those two tracks that's why you know uh, uh we was actually in um we was in um Raviel Sadiq's studio and uh, that's where we kind of uh had cut those tracks at. Yeah, man, it was crazy. Wow. But what happened was uh they invited me out to DC to play that song at the Lishon. Well, they was like, hey, I they was like, man, you want to do the NPR thing with us? I was like, cool, you know. <laughs> so <laughs> so so the whole three songs, I I remember I rode in the van with Adrian and my manager, and we all rode over there and I had to listen to the songs on the phone because I had to learn them like on the way over there and uh, learn them in rehearsal, man. It was actually cool, man. It was actually really cool. Wow. And uh, Rakim, dude is, man, dude is what he is, the God. That's right. <laughs> cool brother, man. Cool brother, man. Yeah, so, yeah you know, the, the ironic, the irony of you, first let me just uh, make a correction. Digital Underground is the name of the group. I think I said Diggable Planets, mm-hmm. which was another dope group Back in the day, but the digital underground, the the, the irony of you doing this with with you, you Shahid Raphael Sadiq, who understands the blues, yeah, and, and yeah. Then we get to Rakim, who was 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 a student of jazz, brass jazz, and wrote his rhymes in 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 a jazz form in his mind, right? Mm. So so it's like all these musics that come up out of our culture kind of f- coming together in, in this in this modern moment. Did it feel as big as what it actually is? Man, yeah, because, you know, for me, I always want to, like, 
blend like you know some form of the of the of the blues solo or the uh, or the blues or the blues rhythm with uh with hip hop and I you know I normally don't do that so for me that was a really big thing you know um especially uh especially with the strings in the background and and hearing him just flow over my guitar chains I always want to like you know uh try to see what could I do or, or what could I apply to that type of situation so for me it was a very big thing man for sure Oh, bro, that's it. so now you come out of a musical family that that pretty much encompasses every aspect of the tradition, heritage, and culture of our people and music. Then mm-hmm. you were introduced again generationally to the blues and how to play it. Everything kind of falls in line to how the, the, the story of our people go. As you're coming up in 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 the rankings, so to speak. Did you feel any pressure to with with like the weight of the world or the weight of the blues culture on your shoulder, considering everything that's going on and all the no white, no black blues and all the other different uh conflicts that's going around when it comes to the music? Um I wouldn't, nah, I, nah, not at all. Uh, not at all. I wouldn't call it pressure at all, cause for one, um, there is a hole in the blues world that you know needs to be filled, and you know, of course, you know, you know, uh, things must evolve, but we have to s- still link the tradition in there and show that we are still around and that this is still. African American culture. So of course, you know, I find it, you know, I find it cool to, you know, have that, I wouldn't say weight, but have that, you know, uh objective, you know, uh, you know, you know, on me and a few other my brothers to you know to show that, you know, we are young bluesmen and we are young black bluesmen that are still into this uh genre, you know, and so and so. So for sure. Yeah, man. I don't I don't see it as pressure, none of that. Which, which you know, I- that leads to another question because it's like, and we see this in hip hop, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, is dead or which we're saving it, right? Or we're keeping it alive, mm-hmm. right? And just listening to your 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 the statement of your story in the beginning of this interview, it doesn't sound like it needed any resuscitation because it was extremely active all these years, right? right. Could you talk to right. the misconception and misnomer of it being dead and, and particular other people saying they have to keep it alive? Right. So, yeah, yeah so, <laughs> you know what's funny what I always thought about that saying, you know, Blues ain't on life support, <laughs> you know, so, yeah, 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 so, blues is something that's, you know, always been in us, so I don't, I don't think, I don't think it's something that, you know, we just gravitated to because we saw that it was dying and we, oh, man, we gotta, you know, nah, man, no, nah, man, it's, it's, it's something that's already in us for sure. So, do, do, do you, because, you know, it's kind of bugged out, right? Mm-hmm. We hear a lot of people saying, well, it's not in mainstream, or we hear a lot of people saying it's not uh, 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 commercially viable, or or that, you know, if it's not, a re- and I say this uh, with no malice to, to the older white rock musicians who mm-hmm. actually made a name for themselves in the rock space. But then it's I like, well, they, they, when they come over, it's like, well, these guys are commercially viable, so we're going to book them, you know. But when you turn on the TV, when you watch a movie, when you you, you hear blues all over the place, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So yeah. so what, what do you think about this conversation that is not marketably viable, especially when it, reflects black artists for one i think is uh i think it's funny i think is uh, i think it's stupid because uh everything is shown from i'm trying to let's see we're trying to be careful <laughs> yeah, of course of course yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. everything don't is get shown in trouble from, yeah, yeah, yeah everything is shown from a certain from a uh 
from a uh, from a certain image, and I think that's wrong because for one, what they're showing is is fake. You know, is 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 not the real thing. It's not the it's not the roots, and 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 um and and not um and not and not what is traditionally known and what the blues is. So, you know, that whole market and imagery thing of what they go by, you know, it's it's all bullshit. <laughs> you know, so yeah. yeah. So so I guess what we're saying is this has been going on, right? Because we can mm-hmm. remember from old Temptation albums when they weren't even on the cover. So this right, is just, right, right. We, this is not new and we shouldn't be uh, uh, receiving it as if we're surprised, but so so. With that being said, let me ask you: Are we are, are we collectively the 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 musicians, the historians, and everyone that that is that are of the people and culture, right? Descendants. Mm-hmm. Are we sp- and those that are allies? Are we spending too much time focused on the wrong things and talking about the wrong things rather than just? <laughs> nah, uh, nah, uh, let me see. Cause I, cause I hope people know that we ain't got nobody in mind that we talking about now. Like, this. no, no, uh, no, nah, this nah, is nah, not nah. personal to anyone. Nah, this is nah, in general. Nah, uh, not at all. Cause, like I said before, like I said, there's a whole well. For one, let, let's let's well, you know, if you want to be blunt about it, gentrification has ran rampant, you know, in the you know in the blues culture, and that needs to be addressed. And if if it takes by all means of all means necessary to address it, then hey, you know, that's you know. That's what you know. That you know. That's what needs to be done. So nah, man, it it is is it's something that needs to be said and you know known. So no, nah, not at all. We 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 not we not uh, we not spending less time on it. Now I do think some things may you know we may spend a lot of time on that probably won't help us in the long run. But because at the end of the day, you know the whole the whole objective is to preserve. The history and you know true tradition of the blues. It ain't it ain't just by one person. It ain't about you know well I wasn't included in this, so therefore I don't like it, you know you right know, right you right know, you know so yeah so yeah right so so now sorry if I went off on a on a you know on a tangent there oh no no no, no. this is the, this is the space for that <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is the space for that so so getting back to the um to to your upbringing and and being ingrained in in the roots. You know, well, I, I ask you like this. Um, in one of my interviews with Anika Chambers, one of mm-hmm. the things she uh, said was because she she she's a black woman with a particular uh, look, style, mm-hmm. and, 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 and vocal and everything like this, it's it's almost as if she they the the system marginalizes her because they just like she could do these things by default mm-hmm. rather than taking time to put put the effort right, right so right. that she can perform at this level right so 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 now I'm gonna ask you as a premier guitar aficionado and a great thank singer you. bro you got some great vocals you got a great well, thank voice thank you man I appreciate that when 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 people say, and even black people, we're not we're not here to bash anyone. So yeah, we're yeah, to yeah, keep yeah. It, that just because I'm black, I'm blues. Does that does that omit all the time and work that goes into being a a a high level musician? Do, right? Do you understand my question? Like like uh, like uh, like, are you saying that? Uh, just because you're a black young man from Mississippi, it does, is that what constitutes you being a great musician? Or did you put time and effort and you don't want people uh, to, to misconstrue the two? 
Yeah, you know what? Honestly, yeah, I, I would I would rather people, you know, say that, you know, hey man, you know, he, you know, he doubled down in practice, you know, and everything. Cause you know, you know, stuff like that always tends to, you know, stuff like that always goes back to that whole Robert Johnson crossroads sold his soul to the devil story, you know, you know, you know, oh wait, you know, uh, you know, he grew up near cotton fields and stuff like that. So, you know, you know, all of that was around me and that influenced, but I don't think that, you know. Oh man, just because I lived right next to a cotfield, oh, I was destined to play, you know. No, no, <laughs> none of that. No, nah, man. I no nah, man, I, you know, I, I studied, you know, I, I studied my, you know, I studied my masters and all the people that I hung around showed me and everything. And you know, um, and I learned and I honed the crab. It wasn't, it wasn't no, you know, spooky, you know, blues, ghosts, you know, <laughs> crab, you know, you, you know, you know, you man, you like bro, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I, no, I know exactly what you're talking about. You put the time and work in this because I I think and the reason why I asked that, just to set it up to give it a, some context, mm -hmm. it, you you know, I I think we get into a space that that could be of a huge disservice when we do not address that either the people who play on high levels or the people who are coming up working towards being in a high level put time and effort in honing their craft. And I don't right, think right. that's talked about enough, right? Nah, nah, nah. Cause I, I I can be I can be honest, like, you know, with me coming from Clarksdale, you know, folks, you know, you know, folks, you know, try to eat that up, you know, you know, you know, like a somebody, you know, coming from a blues town, you know, like uh, let's say uh Mm, Chicago or something like that, you know, you know, folks, you know, folks try to eat that up. Well, you know, he, you know, well, uh, well you know, he stayed in there. It's not, it's, it's not that, it's not that, you know, folks actually, you know, learn, you know, learn from their masters and put time and effort to, you know, how they, you know, how to become, it's no, you know, oh man, you know, he was, he was destined because he lived in a shack or something like, you know, like that. So yeah, <laughs> it's all that type of stuff, man, you know. So now, have you done any gospel? Have you, I, I know there was a time where people were trying to to categorize you mm -hmm. as as well he's rock or as he's blues or or all these different things, mm -hmm. right? So even before we get to the gospel, mm -hmm. what do you have to what do you say to that? Right? How did how, how did that make you feel? How did you address it? And 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 what do you want people to understand about? these particular type of things well well for one is is it's all ours you know i i say that a lot you know it's, it's it's all ours you know um the way i play you know i it wasn't it wasn't oh man i'm playing like this you know because you know you know where you know uh I'm shredding because it gets me more known it, it wasn't always that it just i was i was always exposed to like different stuff while I was growing up. Not only was I was like, my dad was like the blues and the rap in my household, but my mom, my mom played everything, man, from uh Earth Wind and Fire to Sam Cook to mm. uh to uh Bon Jovi to you know, you know, and I all that man. So you know, and, you know, and with me being a guitar player and you know, you know, of course I was gonna gravitate to Hendrix, you know, into the, you know, into the uh into the electrified stuff of Prince. So I feel like, you know, all of that, you know, all of that, all of that, you know, rock and all of that, you know, you can find black folks that was back doing that. So I feel like all of us, you know, all of it, you know, is on our stuff. So I just, you know, blues is my roots, but you know, I can I can do some other stuff too, <laughs> you know. So, you you but, get down on the axe. Yeah, yeah. I get I you know if you know if uh, if the time comes, you know if somebody you know wanna you know wanna test me at that type of stuff. If you know what I mean, hey, I, I, I you know I can be able to hold my own, you know. <laughs> but at the end of the day, you know my heart will always be the blues because I come from it. You know, I, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, uh, I am it, you know, you are it. So it's, you know, you know, that's something that can't be forgotten. Yeah, so yeah. I dig it. So, so I have to ask this considering, and I'm going to always, well, I'm not going to always, but I'm uh, the reason why I keep referring back to how you explained your upbringing mm -hmm. is because there's there's so many misnomers and 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 alternative facts when we're talking about um black communities and music right mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. when i grew up in the church i i always saw black kids with guitars yeah 
You know what I mean? Be- because back then, as you remember, and so, still to this day, in some uh, in some instances, but now more if they don't have the finances, they're not using live instruments, right? Things kind of right. change in the church. But when I was growing up, when you when you was growing up, they, this everybody there was musicians. They had bands, right? Yeah. So I, I say I, I set it up that way because then you 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 hear that most of the kids that are learning how to play an instrument are non-black. Have you noticed that? Is that even a fact? Honestly, uh, with me coming from the Delta Blues Museum, all those years, arts and education program and seeing tons of my classmates and live black kids come in, uh, learning how to play guitar, bass, keys, drums, and going to church and seeing little kids. Nah, I, I, nah, that ain't no fact. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. Okay, because you, and, and also I want wanted to address that and ask you this because at the same token, we we it goes back to what we're seeing, and so so would you would you say that because the modern day music business doesn't always, or depending on the genre, doesn't platform uh, 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 folk, black folk out of these communities that play instruments because that's not the 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 genre of choice at this particular time. Does yeah, that make yeah, sense? Yeah. My question. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because they feel like that is is. It's not normal. It's not something that you see every day. It's something. Uh, is is uh, is something not the ordinary. Yeah. Mm, mm. So now, getting back to the journey, right? Mm. Share with us a couple of and now these ain't the the the, the big secrets that the masters <laughs> told you. We can never give those away. But some mm. of the most um um um. Uh, important things that a lot of these elders shared with you in, in regards to navigating life and musician musicianship as they were teaching you? Well, for one, um, as far as you already know, they taught me musically, you know, to, you know, I always feel what you play for sure. But, but, but in, you know, in life, they always taught me what to do and not to do, you know, to, you know, to, you know, not do as much, well, not do as much or to none at all. You're parting, and if you know what I mean, to leave that alone. You know, uh, to uh, to to uh, chill out. You know, uh, or don't go too hard with the with the uh, with the women or something like that. <laughs> but the biggest one for me was, you know, it's the business talks. You know, because as you may know, you know, some of our blues elders, you know, then yeah, yeah so. I would get certain talks and, or, you know, it wasn't even, you know what, and to be honest with you, the talks wasn't even geared towards that. It was just stories that they would like, tell me about stuff that would happen. And you would just have to take it as a lesson. Or they would even tell you at the end, just son, take it as a lesson, man. Always keep your business straight. Uh, Watch your surroundings, watch your circle. Um, Everybody's not your friend. Uh, You know, there, you know, there are some people whose aim is to simply exploit you and in in some situations we don't find that out until after we get our feet wet as my mom used to say so mm. i you know yeah so yeah that was the biggest one just know your business and don't let nobody exploit you and just know who you're dealing with and just you know always you know have have integrity in everything that you do so so, so- do you think that gets lost in translation with with the conversation of of preserving the culture and the actual musical style that we forget to 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 keep that at the forefront because the business part is the I mean let's keep it funky as much as we all love the music playing it at whatever level we're playing and all this stuff at the end of the day it's the you you're doing this professional musicians do this to make a living. Right. Right. The trend. So, so do we, do we, uh, omit that part too much when we're talking race and culture? I don't. Let me think here. Let me think here. Let me think here. Let me, let me, let me, let me get my words together. <laughs> I 
I, you know, uh, not at all because 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 that's that's what the gentr- that's what the gentrification of the blues kind of stemmed from. You know, you know, you know, you know them coming in and taking advantage of our blues elders and 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 giving them a car for their you know rights and royalties and stuff like that. So now nah, I, I know all, all of that. All of that plays into all of that plays into the problem. Right. You know, matter of fact, you know, the problem probably probably problem stems from that. So for sure. Yeah. So so with that being said, I I guess I can go on the record and say because what happens is a lot of times when these discussions happen, and we're not even talking about uncomfortable stuff, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But sometimes it goes into uncomfortable areas. It well, uncomfortable for other people. <laughs> right, right, right. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. And 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 the first thing that comes out of their mouth is, well, your audience is predominantly white. Should you be saying this? One, I would like to say no one is being divisive, nor negating the the respect that any of us has or and have for our audience right Mm -hmm. and and two do you think i guess this is the question i think so but do you think it behooves the audience to have an understanding because if they're really supporters they would want to help make it right 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 yeah i'm gonna tell you something uh recently this 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 brand that I uh work with named uh Jim Dunlock, they made some picks, like some like some Black Lives Matters type picks, you know, when all the you know, you know, uh stuff was going on and still going on, just you know, people have gotten quiet, but uh they they uh they sent me some and I posted about them. And dude, folks posting that stuff will you know show your fans true colors, you know, you know, everyone, you know. Stuff like that separates the blues fans from the actual blues fans, you know. So, so yeah, I don't, I don't think that's no, no, no. We need to talk about it because people need to have, you know, a a, a real understanding, you know, you know, you know what the blues is, you know. Have those, you know, people that get upset at us, you know, at us saying, you know, I almost cussed my bad. Have the people that get mad at us, you know, uh, saying stuff. They think the blues is about. You know, cotton fields and my baby left me and this, that, and this stuff. No, it's not, it's you know, no, 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 it's not about that. That's not what the genre was, you know, birthed from, you know, you know, if you will. So, so yeah, this is something we need to talk about. And and if anybody feels uncomfortable, you know, just see your way out. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, that's interesting. Let's talk about lyrics, right? Mm-hmm. Because you you you're right. Most people equate blues to my baby that left me or some stuff yeah, like yeah. this. Yeah, woke but, up this morning. And, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But there's there's more to it. What do you what 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 do you have to say in regard or what do you think I should say when it comes to people saying well blues lyrically is not uh political, it's not about social, it's not about how oppression or all these things affected the people. Is that true? Uh no, it is not because uh you got uh you go back and listen to uh Lead Belly. Uh man, uh Quan actually sent me some links a couple of a couple of uh a couple of uh months ago. Uh Howland will put out a song, Coon on the Moon. Mm. Uh 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 I'm um I'm forgetting the name. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think it was uh Quan Simeon either Josh, I think it was Josh Brown, if I'm not mistaken. Josh uh, Brown, Josh White, uh, Gabriel Josh White, Brown, Josh, Josh yeah, White. Uh, 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 Josh White, I believe I dropped down, all that, man. So, so you know, you know, you know, black artists, you know, have been, you know, have been, you know, speaking out, you know, about injustice, you know, in the blues, but, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know uh, since forever, so, this is nothing of new, you know, but it's just, you know, going back to that gentrification, you know, it has gotten folks' minds to where, you know, the blues is, you know, my baby has left me and all of that type of stuff. So, yeah, yeah. So, so we're seeing a marginalization of, uh, is this what we're talking about? Where there, there's, and when I say other, this doesn't even just constitute race or ethnicity. I'm speaking more of corporation involvement. Mm-hmm. They they constitute 
what is and what isn't blues based on the the their control of what soul is, is, is am I in the ballpark? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What are you yeah. asking? My bad, my bad. I got lost in the question, my bad. Yeah, so so what does the 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 corporate sponsors and the gatekeepers uh when we say gentrification, they they constitute, they 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 dictate to their audience what's blues. So if someone does a song about injustice, but not, you know, just any song about injustice, to say injustice, to say us oh, the blues, because I'm black, but I mean a real blues song, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. right? That they be like, okay, well, we're gonna we're not going to allow that in. And then we're going to just keep talking about plantation stuff and, and what was me stuff and perpetuate is that the blues? This is kind of what we're seeing. Yeah. Yeah. Because I feel like that I've always felt like that because I feel like that that was like a, that was always like a narrative that was always being like, you know, trying to push. And I know that's an overused word, but I feel like that was a narrative like being pushed, like, you know, you know, Black folk or black bluesmen, you know, we just, you know, we just broke and pulled down, you know, everything. Man, I remember one time a person told me, you know, um, it was something to the fact that bluesmen don't, you know, bluesmen don't, you know, bluesmen don't live in luxury. Well, why not? You know, you know, you know, uh, <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, why not? You know, you know, why we got to be, you know, living in shacks and, and, you know, and, you know, cars don't work and, you know, and, you know, and, <laughs> and, and you know, money being gone and all that type of stuff. So, yeah, I always felt like that was a narrative being pushed it. Oh, you know, uh, if it's, uh, if it's broke down and hard luck and trouble and all that, you know, it's the blues. And it, I mean, it is, but, you know, that's not, that's not what it all is. Right. There's more, thank you. There's more to it, right? Yeah. Because yeah, it's yeah, also yeah, celebratory. Yeah, it. It's partying. Right. Right, so so, man, what that that and and that's good. How, oh man, because it's like how how would we be able to get other young uh, black folk involved if they believe the blues is down downtrodden and po and everybody trying to get out of being po, mm-hmm. right? So so with that being said. Because uh, I remember when I first kind of got on this this space, when I I, I kind of evolved from rap into the blues mm-hmm. as as a performer, because I was a rapper, I was a hell of a good one too. But that's not here nor there. Oh man, um, I got I got I got to find some of that. I got to. I'll, I'll send you a couple of things. <laughs> okay, man, man. <laughs> but um, I was told by folk, black folk my age. Mm-hmm. And a little bit younger, why are you why are you doing that slave music? And I was like, yo, what? You know, and and mm-hmm. oddly enough, I was told by old white men, I'm really happy to see this is in New York. I'm really happy to see uh young and, and I'm not that young, but compared to them, I was. I'm really happy to see right. you take it. They're like, I'm really happy to see you taking your music back. And I'm like, you know, and I was confused for a while. Because I would expect to hear a white person say what the black person said, and a black person say what the white person said. But there, but there's right, black exactly. people who think blues is slave music. How how do we address that? I'm gonna be real with you, man. It's crazy because like like I said, I come from Clarksdale. I can tell you, dude. I had teachers tell me back when I was in middle school and high school. I don't, I don't like the blues. That's 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 sad, depressing. I own that. Uh, man. Wow. Um. I, I remember uh and I hope and I um and I hope uh Keith don't mind me mentioning this, but I remember when um Marquise had this controversy going on with a certain person back home in his town and the uh, and the person put on Facebook something about uh uh blues represents darkness and and gospel represents lights or something like that. So I'm, a, I, you know, uh, I'm gonna be in the light. You know, you know, you know, you know, stuff like that. Nah, you know, a little you know, microaggressions. Yeah, yeah. You know, you know, we as a people got to understand. You know, that's our history. You know that. You know, I understand. You know, you know, being progressive, but we can't. You know, we can't. You know, we can't weed all that out. You know, you know, uh, you know. You talk about, oh, uh, uh, we can't give the blues to so and so. I mean, well, I mean. We gonna have to be more. 
we're gonna have to gravitate to it more, you know, you know, and you know, in order for that, you know, not to happen. So yeah, man, just you know, I feel like this is just something, and then like going around, even with the kids when I was in school, like the kids would tell me, like they would say the same thing, man. Why you listen to that old boy and stuff? I'm like, man, most of this what I listen to you know, birth everything that y'all listen to, you know, if you want to get like, you know, uh, talk about it musically. Cause like when the teacher would say, uh, you know, y'all, you know, uh, take out your phones and listen to music. I would pull out some light and Hopkins while they were listening, like, you know, Nicki Minaj or, you know, <laughs> Lil Wayne or something like that. So I'm like, man, hey, uh, it wouldn't be none of that if it wasn't for this. So yeah, man, this is our history, man, for sure. Yeah, and you know, you said something that I would like to address and keep it safe, obviously, you mm -hmm. know, but but that's a really big issue, right? Mm -hmm. We 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 meaning not you and I, but collectively black folk. Um, and, and I found this we 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 always our people always say how this one is stealing our music. This one is uh, taking our music and making money off our music. But at the same token, we say that after they've made commercial success and we done turned our back from it. Mm -hmm. So how, how, what, what, how can we address this? Or, or how do you feel about this in a, in a safe way, obviously, that, that to address our people who get upset when it's co-opted, but but left it alone to die. Well, for one, I think I think that's I think that's something that would be like a be like an objective for us. For us, I think we need to like have something where we can like teach our teach our young black youth and 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 kids who look uh who look like me, you know, the real truth about this music and 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 what it you know and what it and what it really means and stand for. It's not it's not all about you know. I'm so, you know, I'm so broken, I'm low now. That's part of it, you know, that's a big part of it. But we need to sit out and teach our, you know, you know, teach our uh, contemporaries that, hey, you know, it's more to it than that. You know, you know, it's, uh, it's more, uh, it's more something, uh, it's more uh, culturally, you know, you know, you know, than that. So I feel like if we just sit down and just teach them and try to educate them and, you know, it's, you know, it's up, you know, it's up to them to, you know, you know, uh, adhere to it and, you know, uh, you know, um, and take it. But I feel like that's something for us, you know, to like educate them on for sure. So now <clears throat> coming out of Clarksdale, Mississippi mm -hmm. and being literally born into the blues and black speeches, what is the most blues people? This is for food ways. Food ways <laughs> is a part of, of folklore. So I have to ask, cause blues is a culture, right? And you right, coming right, from right. ground zero. What is the, the, the most blues people food that you've eaten and enjoyed? That you, and, and eat on a consistent basis. <laughs> okay, uh, I'll say this, because you know, some, you know, uh, Dietary thing is going on. I, I I I can't I can't I can't eat it at a consistent basis. But um, my classmate, um, her family has a uh, has a spot here in town. I think I think they were uh, if uh, 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 if I'm not mistaken, I think they were voted like uh, best burger in Mississippi. The Owens mm. uh, Owens Soul Food Shack. So yeah, man, if you ever come down here, man, come. Come down to Owens Doc, where they'll get you, they'll get you right, man. Oh, and of definitely. course, man. Yeah, man. And 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 uh and um and not only that, there's definitely uh like an array of of different uh mom and pop spots that you can go to that serve like barbecue and everything. So man, everybody's you know, um everybody's getting it. But number one for sure, man, try try Owens for sure, Doc. Oh, Owens, Owens Doc. And so what what they make? They 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 make mac and cheese, collard greens, what what they make? Man, man, what they uh what they specialize in, you know, cooking. You got the, you know, you got the, uh, got the barbecue polish and all. They got the rib tips and, uh, mm. you know, and you know, and uh, and the barbecue pork. Uh, I, I, I call it like, you know, uh, kind of like the festival barbecue, uh, or, you know, uh, 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 almost if, 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 if you will. But I'm pretty sure, uh, if you ask them, I think, I think they get down like that every once in a while too. If I'm not mistaken, if I'm not mistaken. Mm. You know, like I said, you know, like I said, because of my diet here things, I try to, you know, I, you know, definitely, I, definitely. I, I, I ain't been right there in a minute. <laughs> I got to, I got to, I got to sneak through people to get my order. <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, well, you know, and I had to ask you that because you, you when, when you were giving your answer, you 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 clearly said the blues culture, right? And that culture right, right. constitutes what we eat, how yeah. we eat, where the food come from, dancing. So so mm -hmm. they. There's dances that's done to blues music. If blues was so downtrodden, how can you dance to it? Right? Right, 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 right. right. We can't, you know, uh, when, you know, BB was live at the Regal, you know, and you could hear all those, you know, black folks in the background, you know, uh, uh, hollering and, you know, praising God almost, man. That, <laughs> you know, that don't, that don't sound, that don't sound like too downtrodden to me, you know, so yeah. <laughs> Speaking of which, musically, I ask mm -hmm. all musicians this question. How close, or is it even the same, spirituals, gospel, and the blues? Is there a separate, musically? Hmm. Well, I feel like most spirituals were, you know... Uh, those were my vocal because you know it wouldn't uh, yeah you know you know it was um those were more vocally but i think musically blues and gospel are the same for sure so so, so now blues singing mm -hmm. then so so okay and I, I like that separation because musically and vocally even though the voice is an instrument there is a separation so spirituals is more vocal blues mm -hmm. and gospel musically is the same blues singing would would you would you say that the black spirituals, the hooting, hollering pastor, and blues vocals are these the same? Not necessarily what's being said, but but inflex, inflection wise. Man, honestly, that's that's maybe maybe a tricky one. Let me see. Uh... Cause, cause it's, cause it's kind of hard because I done been around the hooping and uh, and a lot and 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 you know you get some old deacons you be like man he he done some blues or some back in the day or something <laughs> like that you know what just because of that you know I'm you know what I'm gonna go ahead and say yeah because like I said I like I said I've 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 heard some preachers you know you know who you know some who play blues now and some who are diggers in the church like. I've heard some preachers like you, like you hear the squall in their voice, you be like, oh man, he used to sing soul or something back in the day. <laughs> or, 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 or when you go to like an old blues festival and see a, and see a guy like, you bro, you just don't know, man, how many like old quartet players down here sing the blues. So of course, yeah, I definitely, I definitely, yeah, 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 think that's the I same think that, because I, I know my pastor now, uh, back in Brooklyn, he he was he was giving him uh, his, his his ministry and mm -hmm. he hooting and hollering and getting down. And I'm saying to myself, man, if I rap like that, I would have been a millionaire. <laughs> <laughs> so so would have so, been would have been would have been uh, uh would have been innovative in that thing, man. <laughs> oh man, because then, you know it, it it you see it so so. Outside of the you know spirituality and and these these notions mm -hmm. of devil music and and uh, uh, voodoo and voodoo and all, outside of all of that, which is something serious. I'm not you know I, I'm not minimizing it because I come yeah. out to church and I'm a man of faith. So but but we we know that all of these are are spiritual connections to the people. Why why do and this is a, this is an opinion question, mm -hmm. right? Now, the, why do you think um, it, it's always, uh, I guess, pitted against each other, and they, they try to separate it so much when when you can hear and see the almost exact same thing in all of these? Because uh, you let's see. Uh, Cause I think I might be treading in dangerous water on this. Let's see. Uh, right, yeah, that, that. Because, because you know our elders don't want to hear this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's yeah, not the yeah, same. yeah. And you already know where I'm going. Like there's man, and I, man, I actually had this talk with a friend of mine who's played drums for me. We, uh, there's something about what like black people call like tradition in 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 church and it's not even like biblical but it's something that was just well you know i saw my you know i saw my you know uh well you know i heard my uh grandparents said you know that for us the truth so it 
people hear that our oh, blues is 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 bad and 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 you know uh, a gospel is all you know uh uh all uh, all good uh secular and sacred which is uh, uh which is true about the secular and sacred thing but it's just been taught and brought down too much that oh man uh blues is bad so therefore there's no there's no there's no correlation so so it's taboo almost we we've been taught through tradition i like how you worded that mm-hmm. that that it's scary. Stay away from it to the point we can't even talk about. Have we shouldn't be? We we if my my mama probably or grandmama would be probably pop me right now having this conversation in public or even discussing this, right? Dude, man, like to be man, like to be quite honest. When 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 I first started the journey, we were like, when, dude, I was I was like ten and eleven, like in the Duke joints and everything. I told you, my mom, she was a church singer. She, 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 she was even uncomfortable at first. I could tell she like, like she would like be timid, but Mm -hmm. then we start to hear things from like church friends. Um, uh, uh, My mom's name was Princess. She was like, oh, oh, Princess, no, 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 no better. She don't need to be um, doing that. And it's crazy. Like we used to get like, like criticized heavily for it, you know, because, you know, because, you know, people see that as being bad and here I am standing out of trouble and just, you know, you know, you know, playing music and, you know, just, you know, learning so much, you know, about my culture, but they just see it, you know, aim, uh, come back to God, you know, come, you know, come, well, you know, I, you know, I'm, I'm with God now. So I never left. Yeah. Right. You know, so that's, that's, that's interesting. And, and at the same time, very telling, be, because you you, you re- in, in in my space uh, are documenting our culture and history. You rarely is this true? Sometimes you do. No, 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 no. It's, I don't want to say rarely, mm-hmm. but but is 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 few and 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 far in between where you 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 get a a, a perspective of something that's happening still to this day that should be a red flag, right? right, it, right. It, because it's like, if you were not doing anything criminal and all the things that could have been doing, but you were singing the blues and, and just like the turn of the century, the, the church members was like, oh, you know, and that's, 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 that's ironic on so many levels. So, so now I have to ask you, do you, do you think, and we kind of both know the answer, but I have to ask as as <laughs> as, as a, a person in the ethnographic space, do you think that played a big part in 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 the releasing of this culture to other spaces? Yeah, yeah, it it, it did because you know, just some people may see that as uh oh, you know, uh black people, you know, you know, they're you know. You know they're big on God and gospel, and you know, and uh, uh, you know, and the most secular that they'll take is probably hip hop. So you know, you know, you know, they not, you know, uh, they not thinking about the blues, you know. So yeah, I yeah, I think yeah, yeah, I so, think that definitely played a big part in it. So there's a lot of re-education or re-educating that we have to do. In other words, yeah, for sure, man. Because yeah, all of this is our culture and our history. Yes, like I say, yes, we need to progress, and and but this is. All of that birth what we have now. And you know, all of us, you know, we're here because of it. You know, you know, we're blues people. So we can't, you know, we can't erase that, you know, from our history. You know, all of that is ours. So so collectively, human wise, so meaning it doesn't matter what ethnicity, what color classification, all of us need to um like I said, you know, I'm from the era of Archie Bunker, so I, I, you, <laughs> you, you, you just say stuff. You know, back then it was hard. You can't say too many things right now because everybody's feelings get hurt. But we, we need to, to, to stop being so sensitive, <laughs> right? Right. And, 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 and really acknowledge the good and bad. That's pretty much right. what we're saying. Yeah, yeah. Because, like I said, you know, it goes back earlier. There's, you know, there's a big elephant in the room. And you know you can't you you can't ignore it you know and some you know some got to give and some needs to be done you know so of, of course you know like you know it's it's cool you know all the wars and 
you know, all the, you know, all the articles and everything, but you know, all, all that's nice, but you know, we would like to see that equally to some of our brothers and sisters. So yeah. Yeah, I dig it. All right, so as we wrap up, because I, I know you're a busy young man, I don't want to hold you up too nah, long. <laughs> what, what, what would be um, some encouraging and inspiring words that you would tell to either those younger or even those older just getting in this space in regards to preserving, playing, right? Because mm -hmm. I, I just want to, I have to say this and go on record, we have to also understand that it has to be good. It has to be presented well. You got to be ready to get out there. Right, 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 right. 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 Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. You we, can't, we, you can't, you can't throw up no slop. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. Because I, I think actually, before we get to that inspiration and encouraging statement, I, I would like you to speak to the importance of the the black musicians that are blues musicians actually one playing the blues and actually two not uh calling everything racism because they're just not ready right because I, I me myself have have to um evaluate that as well for myself so i'm not speaking towards anybody else sometimes you have to say you know what i gotta put some I, more work in right i i, I get what you're saying um <laughs> well, you know, uh, those are the ones that may, you know, may say uh, what they call it, tokenism or something like that. But I, I say, hey, man, just keep at it. You know, you know, for one, for one, I would say this. I never was the one to judge someone else's journey. You know, you know, in the you know, in the times that I felt like no one was listening to me, I never I never complained. No one. I never said someone else's success was the reason why, you know, no one wasn't paying attention to me. I went and I doubled down, you know, do I, do I have the goods? Like, you know, you know, is my voice cool? Like, you know, you know, uh, is my plan under control? Uh, uh, or do I have original music? I, I, I will say there's a lot of entitlement going on. You know, you know, there's a lot of, you know, and, and honestly, bro, I feel like, I, man, I feel like, that's why we have, there's a lot of fake blues rebel type thing going on among some of the musicians that we kind of know. Right. And, and, and I feel like people should understand that the objective is to preserve the history and the meaning of what the blues is, not because, oh, you know, I ain't, you know, I ain't, you know, I ain't where I should be at. You know, it ain't, you know, you know, I, you know, I understand that, but it's not, that's not what the, you know, you, you man, you know what I'm saying. No, yeah, I know exactly. That's not what it's yeah. about. Yeah, you, yeah. You, so you, yeah. You get, when you're supposed to get there. Yeah, yeah. So like, you know, like just, I would say just, you know, keep at it and understand that, you know, this may be cliche, but you know, everybody got a time, man. You know, it may, it may, man. Look at, look at, uh, Leo Bud Welch, rest in peace, man. He, man, oh my God, dude, bro, he can't. I, I remember. I was still playing like sideman shows at the time when he had first like came on the scene. When he had first came in, uh, Vincey had uh, brought him into a show, and he sat in with the band that I was playing bass with. I had started as a uh, as a uh, as a bass player before I went to guitar, mm. and I remember he came in and he played about a good three or four numbers. Then right after that, he just shot off and was going all these different places, man. So yeah. You know whether you eighteen or eighty eight. You know, you know it's 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 coming. You know, just take that time and write your original music, hone your skills, and you know it's going it's going it's going to be there. But you know, don't don't look you know don't look down on the next man because you don't know what he had to go through to get none of that. Like you know, so Bro. and <laughs> man, you know, so I I think I think you know I think people look people look at what's on the outside of the mailbox, you know, these days, rather than, you know, what's, you know, you know, what's inside it is what really matters, you know, you know, so, yeah. You, and you said, right, you said that a couple of times, write your own songs. How important is that in the blues? Or just it, music it, in general? Man, it's, it's, um, uh, uh, man, you write about the blues, because uh, sometimes I think we can get caught up in, you know, we singing the same old, 
uh standards that everybody else singing, you know, you know, you know, you know the uh when I ain't gonna I ain't gonna mention no name no songs, but you know the ones that yeah, yes. everybody excuse me, you know the one that um you know everybody do, you know, at the blue jams and whatnot. And it can be easy. I I I think it'd be I think if it I think it can be easy to be sucked into that. And I think I, you know, I kind of learned that I kind of learned that lesson the hard way because when I had like first started to like gain momentum, I didn't have no original music, man. All I played was like covers and stuff. And I think it kind of messed me up a little bit because now I have original music, but people know the cover so well when at some shows people be hollering at the cover songs and i'd be like hey man you know you know i got you know you know i'm trying to sell cds man <laughs> you know you know you know i ain't you know uh i ain't got purple rain on the cd you know like that so <laughs> so like that so you know i it's a big thing and not only that you got to tell your story because when muddy and Wolf and Sun House and hot and and and, and lightning hawkers they were singing what they went through they wasn't singing no one else you know, thing you got to sing your story. So yeah, all of that plays a plays a big part into it, bro. I mean, you you pretty much just answered the the last question. What would you tell uh, uh inspiring musician? That was it right there. Tell your story, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Tell your story because at the end of the day, you can only be you, man. You know, you know we, you know, we already heard about the hoochie coochie man. We already heard about. <laughs> We already heard about Storm and Monday, you know, you know, you know what, you know, what happened in your life? You know, what are you feeling? What are you thinking? So, yeah. I, you know what? Okay. I do this often because we, we, I, I keep saying like, last question, last question, but you just said something I have to ask you. What do you feel? Oh, better yet, how can I put this? Because I don't want it to come across uh, the wrong way for the audience go. right well for you as well because we're not talking about anyone particular but I, I i think it is important for us to ask this to have this discussion right after talking about tell your own story right because mm-hmm. we, we we see a lot of um people uh mimicking or, or positioning themselves as if they're uh still picking cotton to play the <laughs> blues right and and it's like I, I I just don't know what to say about that other than should how how what <sighs> come on come on come how do you on, feel about you know you know it's like because when you know there may be there's still people in agriculture but but <laughs> dudes is not on plantations right now nah, why should, nah. should should we be how, how do we approach this how do we address this man. <laughs> I, I, I would say, I, I would say this, what, whatever that you're doing, take it, but take it and try to progress it a little bit, but don't, cause you know, you got some cats I hear that, man, just, just look like, you know, almost coonery, almost, you know, you know, almost, almost man. So, you know, you right. don't, you know, don't, you know, don't try to make it look like it's, you know, don't try to make yourself look like a clown, you know, and, you know, and, and, you know, and just, you know, paint your face up just like be that way but have integrity with it you know you know you know you you, you understand because like you know uh like man like even you like when you um uh, i don't know what the tie is quan told me what the name of it like but i've seen you wear like the uh the, the string house. tie the string yeah, bow tie yeah man, yeah man like man you take that and i know sometimes you wear the apple hat and all that man like you know you know you know you take that and you progress it you know you ain't you ain't looking all retro with it. <laughs> so man, yeah, man, yeah, yeah. Uh, yo, I dig it. I appreciate that, man. To, 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 to know, King, I'm looking like I have an audience, but I was just like, <laughs> Kingfish, watch me do something. That's big, bro. Yeah, yeah, man. yeah, man. <laughs> that's 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 love. No, I dig it, man. I appreciate you rapping with us. You know, the the the, the forum is always open to you. Whenever you got something to either get off your chest or promote, just come talk to us. We here. Thank you, man. I really, I really appreciate that, man. This is a, this is a really cool thing, man. You know, uh, as as you probably may see on Facebook, I'm not, I'm not as vocal as you know, uh, you know, as you and my brothers, you know, Marquise Kwan, and you know, but trust me, I, I got, I got, I got some thoughts too, man. That you know, you know, no, definitely, yeah, and, and you know, this is what it's here for because actually, it. it, it we have to allow, you know, they 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 say uh, 
like, like the white newscaster lady said to LeBron, just shut up and dribble, right? Yeah. Boyce Watkins said, you know, Lil Wayne should just be rapping instead of talking political science. You know, and I say that because I'm not uh, single and not just white people. We all say these things. But, right. you know, the bluesman is unique because the bluesman is like the neighborhood pastor. Mm-hmm. You know, these, these are the people with the message, as in as is the MC or or anyone who is the voice of the people. So right. if you stifle that voice to just go sing, that's that's one unrealistic to our tradition, and two, you you're pretty much minimizing the person who is speaking up for you. So right. so you, you should have something to say, and I know you do, and this is Man. the place to do it. And, and I, I don't want to say is it, it, one more thing before we get on because this is this is something that's kind of been troubling my spirit for, like going on for like a few years now. Mm. Go back to the whole thing, you know, we was talking about, you know, people classifying me as the rock and the blues. I got a question, like, so when I was coming up, well, not really a question, but just, well, maybe a question and statement altogether, but when I was coming up and I was playing in the clubs every weekend and in my city, a lot of folks who are like blues fans, I, I kind of met before, you know, everything, you know, kind of uh, skyrocketed for me. So I would always hear, man, you know, uh, you see such and such is out, you know, touring, you know, we need some black kids out here doing this, man, you know, blah, 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 blah. And they would always mention, you know, uh, like, a, you know, um, like a white kid that's out here doing it, but you know, and they would imply that there's no, you know, uh, no black kids. Well, when I started playing, I noticed my presence kind of became a nuisance to some people, you know, mm. in this community. So I want, I got a question all because of the way I play. How come it is that, you know, I've heard festivals say that they didn't want to book me because I was rockish, but then you book another little young person that don't look like me, but they playing everything from Rolling Stones to Judas Priest. That don't, mm. that don't, how come, like, how come when it comes to, and, and you know, and it kind of goes back to something that we kind of talked about with the narrative, like, why we, like, gotta be the ones to always sound, you know, retro. Of course, we got that tradition and that needs to be linked in there, but how come we gotta be the ones that sound all broke down? How come we can't be the ones to, Push your rock some shit up, you know, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, cause we can do that shit too, man. So like, yeah. So I, I, you know, that's just something I've always saw that just kind of just never, just never got with me a little bit. Cause like no. I, you know, you know, man, I like you, it. I mean, like man, like you, I'm in some of these forums and all of this, man. So I see things that be said, and you know, oh, it's just you know, all just shredding them. Like man, you know, well, you know, whatever. It's all ours, you know. So yeah, you know. But no, I'm, that's that's yeah. a good question. So 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 we we we're, we're pretty much pigeonholed all across the board. Yeah, like so, you know, and and like um and here's the thing. I've always I remember I told Quantum not too long ago, if a black blues elder came up to me and this has happened before from like club owners to musicians, if a black blues elder came up to me and said, "Fish, you know what you're doing is cool, but you know, put some of that blues in there." You know, I would had to I would had to accept that because that's my black blues elder and 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 it's up for me to attain that information and use it to my advantage and put it to what I'm doing. You know, but I don't I just don't feel comfortable sometimes when all of this criticism about what I'm playing comes from people that don't look like me. Mm. You know, that kind of that's you know, I you know, I read these comments and that ain't nothing but rock and you know, you got all these, you know, overseas promoters, you know, all these blues mafia and all this shit, you know, and, and everything. So I, you know, I, you know, but yeah, that was that. I just want to get that little piece out. We good. <laughs> <laughs> no, we but good. I, I hear you clearly. I, I, I hear you clearly. And, and you know what? You know what? We will. I hear you clearly. I hear you clearly. And that that's that's something that is also an issue. And that goes back to. uh gentrification right because once it's gentrified there's new ownership yeah 
Yeah, 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 so yeah, it, yeah. Oh yes. man, this is great. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> my bad, man. Like, man, like, 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 some of this stuff I said today, I never really said out publicly that much. But man, I thank you, man, because that's why I really been looking forward to doing this interview, man. Because you know, you know, you know, I, you know, I sat back, you know, for a couple of years and watch, you know, in these forums and people giving their opinions and. You know, you know, you know, everybody and their mama know what the blues is these days. So it, it is what it is, you know. Well, so you know what? And that's the, that's, that's the, so, so, because everybody and their mama who knows what the blues is don't come from the blues people. Right, right. Man, yeah. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> like, man, I remember mean, one time I seen this person come in, man, when the, uh, when the IBC was going on and the person come in and it was like, uh, man, it's too much rock and roll, blah, blah, blah. You know, you know, pretty much the usual stuff. But this is what got to me when they was like, uh, Robert Johnson, uh, Sunnyland Smith, Muddy Waters will all be rolling in their grave. How the hell you know? <laughs> <laughs> well, how the hell you know, man? <laughs> you, know, I, you, know, you know, and it's funny, because I have to, I told Quan I would find this CD. I have a um, John Wesley work mm -hmm. CD when he recorded Muddy Waters. Yeah, yeah. Right? And on that CD, Muddy Waters played ragtime on the guitar. Muddy Waters Man. played like three or four different quote unquote genres of music that would not be classified as blues. Mm -hmm. So, So it's like, again, here's a pigeonhole by someone others or, or, or by a, 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 a group of people outside of the culture. Right, right, man. And, and yeah, you know, just, you know, you know, those were just some of my grievances that I really never just, you know, aired out. You know, I just, you know, you know, that was that, man. <laughs> no, 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 it's cool. It's cool, man. That's what we're here for. Well, we're going to work on all this and, I know I don't have to tell you, but I'm going to tell you, keep playing what you play because, you know, at the end of the day, you, you know, uh, one of my favorite musicians from back in the day, um, and I can't believe I can't think of his name right now, uh, Big Bill Bronzy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love Big Bill Bronzy. Mm -hmm. And one of his biggest complaints was the the labels only wanted him to play this particular style of music and he has so much more to offer. Right. And they wouldn't let him play what was here. Yeah, yeah, what was in that heart. You know, so we, but we'll work on that, bro. This has been amazing. <laughs> Thank you, man. Thank you, man. We got to do it again sometime in the future, man. I really enjoyed this, man. This was the highlight of my day. Oh, my man. Yes, and sir. for y'all out there, this is Jack Dapper Blues, and we've been sitting with Brother King Fish from Clarkdale, Mississippi. Yes, sir. And around the world. <laughs>